Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com and we're in the middle of filming about 35 videos on the Singer Heavy Duty 4452 sewing machine. And I want to just take you through a quick little tour of where everything is and how wonderful all the stitches are and how we're going to be using them throughout the videos for different settings. So first off, a reminder that a sewing machine is going to work when you have good quality thread in the machine. It's threaded correctly. You've got a, a new needle and we'll link to some of those needle videos right up here in this top corner. So you can pick the right needle for the type of fabric and project you're working on. Having the right bobbins and, that are specific for this machine. That is the class 15 plastic bobbins and having the bobbin area cleaned out below this throat plate. So we will be doing a cleaning and maintenance video for you so you can keep this machine in top running condition. So as we go ahead and pick stitches, you are in charge of stitch length, which is the easiest one to start with. So stitch length traditionally is about two and a half, and that's about two and a half millimeters of length per stitch on the fabric, and that's a nice medium stitch length. If your fabric is thicker, you're gonna make it a longer stitch. It needs more room to go forward and then down through all the layers. So if you're having to push your fabric through because the stitches are getting so tiny or it's being hung up, lengthen your stitch length to three, three and a half, or even up to four. Lighter weight fabrics I might enjoy using about a stitch length of two. Puts them so it puts that seam so it really holds the thinner fabrics together smoothly. Stitch length, stitch selection dial. You are going to notice that every time you click the dial, you get to three different stitches. One's black, blue, and red. So depending on which stitch that you're wanting, if you're wanting a black stitch, you're going to be within the black numbers. If you're wanting a blue stitch, then you notice it has a blue setting on the stitch length, and all you do is you turn it to the blue S1. S1 and the red S2 will get you the other stitch on that particular dial. S standing for stretch stitches. Now I'm also a fan of decorative stitches, so sometimes I'll use what's considered to be a utility stretch stitch as a decorative stitch when I put decorative threads in this machine. So don't feel like just because it's supposed to be a stretch stitch, you can't use it for something else. We do talk about taking just a, a short, nice little afternoon project and sewing out each each one of these stitches. Start with all the black stitches, do all the blue ones, whatever order you want to be on. There's a buttonhole. When you do a buttonhole, that's also a black stitch. So go ahead and turn it to where the buttonhole range is for stitch length from right in between zero and one. So let's go up here. Depending on how wide you want to stitch, that's what stitch width is all about. And it says width right here on the top of the machine. This machine will go up to six millimeters wide. If you look at the foot opening there, that's how wide the stitch will be. So you'll have the ability to adjust stitch length on some stitches and stitch width. So if you don't want it as wide, you can narrow it down. So if you're doing a straight stitch, go ahead and leave it at zero. That's just kind of a default setting for it and about two and a half. Needle position. So on here it has a little picture of a needle and it shows you a dot in the center. So you'll see that the needle is lined up in the center of the foot. You have three needle positions, a far left needle position, you saw the needle kind of move there, and then a far right needle position. So when I do some top stitching or I just need to be kind of on this side of the foot, I'll definitely move my needle position instead of trying to sew so close to the edge of the fabric, keep as much fabric under that foot, touching all those feed dogs, pulling the fabric through, and move your needle, not your fabric. Just a little tip along the way. Put it back to center, that's usually the best one. Then that way if you are using any of the lines that are on the throat plate for seam allowance, that's what they're measured from, from the center of your foot. Now this dial here says tension, and this is where everybody kind of gets a little bit, um, 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 a little scared, but here's the, the key. Number one, four is normal. So if you have little fingers in your home and they come and touch all your dials, just put it all back to 
four. You'll see kind of a three, four, five as kind of a, a range here for being middle. If you are using the same quality thread in your needle that you have wound in your bobbin, tension is going to be balanced. Tension is not something that you will need to change. If you have sewing machine problems, it's probably something else. The needle, how you threaded it, maybe it needs to be cleaned. Maybe it's actually time for a annual service at your local soy machine service center. And that is something that I highly recommend when we talk about cleaning and taking care of this machine. It is worth having it serviced annually. And that way they can get everything back going again. So tension is not to be changed when you have the same thread in your needle or bobbin. When I do change it is when I might be having a heavier thread here when I do decorative work, and something else in my bobbin. Maybe I don't want to have metallic thread in my bobbin because nobody's going to see it, but I have metallic thread in my needle. So I might need to adjust the balance of the stitch for those two different weights. So one direction will make it worse and the other direction will make it better. So we will go into tension a little bit further, but that is not the first thing to blame when there are issues with your machine. So we'll be going over lots of things that you can uh, look at, try, fix on your own. So much of a sewing machine problem is your user error. I'm sorry to say that, but that is usually the problem. All right, last thing here, just a reverse button, hold it down and you'll be making a locking stitch as your sewing machine stitches back. So you hold it down while you're going backwards and let go when you are ready to go forward again. So that's just a quick little overview of each of the dials that are on this fabulous machine. So we have links below this YouTube video where all the videos are hanging out together at sewingmastery.com. We have links below that also will take you to where your manual can be downloaded and printed off.